Hi there. Okay, time to talk about the exponent laws. There's a few of them and they're really handy. They're not very hard. You just have to keep them straight, okay? Uh, so the first one, we're on page 76, okay? And the first thing it's talking about here is understanding and applying the exponent laws for products and quotients of power. So that's multiplying and dividing powers. Okay, so when you multiply powers with the same base, you add the exponents. So take a look at the example. It says 3 squared times 3 to the 4. Okay, that's the same thing as saying 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So we have two factors of 3 here and four factors of 3 here. Can I zoom in here a little bit? Ah, that's better. So if we count them all out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have 6 factors of 3. The answer is 3 to the 6th, okay? Or 3 squared times 3 to the 4th equals 3 to the 6th. 2 plus 4 equals 6, okay? Um, so when we want to solve that question, we write it out like this. 3 squared times 3 to the 4th equals 3 bracket 2 plus 4, 3 to the 6. So underneath here is the exponent law, okay? I'm going to highlight this, highlight this. To multiply powers with the same base, we add the exponent, okay? So that's the same thing as saying a to the m plus a to the n equals a to the m plus n, okay? So as long as a is the same number, whether it's 17 or three or two, m and n, doesn't matter what they are, we add them together, okay? Right on. Okay, so first example, it says, write as a power, okay? So the first one has, uh, 5 to the 3 times 5 to the 4, okay? They have the same base, so that's the same thing as saying 5 to the 3 plus 4 or 5 to the 7, okay? Is that okay? Okay, next one, B minus 6 squared plus minus 6 cubed. Again, base is the same, so that doesn't change. And then we add the exponents. Okay, so you're showing that you're adding the exponents. Minus 6 to the 5. Okay, excellent. And the last example they have there is 7 squared times 7. Now here there's no exponent for the 7, but because we know there is a 7, that's the same thing as saying 7 squared times 7 to the 1, okay? So that would be 7, 2 plus 1, or 7 cubed. Right on, okay? So let's get you to try a couple on your own, on your own, okay? So check, A. Uh, let's just do two of them. 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 4th. What do you get? Right on. Make sure this is a superscript, right? So it's written up high. Uh, and let's try D. Okay. What do you get? Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, dividing fractions uh, or dividing powers. So when you divide powers with the same base, you subtract the exponents. So multiplying, we add dividing, we subtract, okay? So, this is the same thing, or does it, does it write it out here separately? Yeah, it's on the back, next page. So, for example, they have here 3 to the 4th divided by 3 to the 2. 
Okay, I like to do it over top of each other as a numerator and a denominator. I think it's visually easier to see. So I have four threes on the top, three times three times three times three, two on the bottom, three times three, and then I cross off the ones as long as they match, right? If I have a three in the top and a three in the bottom, I can cancel them out. Three in the top, three in the bottom, I can cancel them out, right? <clears throat> that leaves me with two threes on the top and just one number, like just a one in the denominator, right? So that's the same thing as saying three times three, which is three squared, okay? Or we can write it out like this, three to the fourth divided by three to the two, or three squared equals four minus two, or three squared. And this is how we would write it out, okay? The relationship is true when you divide any two powers with the same base. So let's turn the page here and it shows the rule at the top of the page. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that here. Okay, uh, so a to the m divided by a to the n okay, equals a to the m minus n as long as n doesn't equal, oh no, that's fine. That's something else. Okay, so a n minus n, excellent. Okay, so let's try a couple of the check questions. Okay, so number one on page 78 says right as a power. Okay, so it has a is negative five to the sixth divided by negative five to the three equals, okay, so the bases are the same, so we can go minus five. Well, I guess you're supposed to try it. You try it out. you get minus five to the three, okay? So if we're trying to write as one power, this is where we stop. When we say evaluate, then we would figure out what minus five cubed actually is, okay? Well, let's try another one. Um, negative three to the nine over negative three to the fifth. What do you get? Right on, awesome, okay. So I think you got this. And the next one just combines, like example three, just combines using multiplication and division at the same time. So let's try one together, okay. So page 79, example one, okay. Uh, A says two squared times two cubed divided by two to the fourth, okay? <clears throat> so because it's multiplying and dividing, we can do either or, but we start from left to the right, okay? So left to the right, so I'm gonna do these ones first. I can actually go underneath here. Equal, uh, I'm gonna go equals, I'll do these first, so that's two and I'm gonna add the exponents, two plus three, and then bring this down, divided by two to the fourth, okay? So this equals two to the fifth, divided by two to the fourth, okay? Now I can take care of these exponents, equals two, five minus four, which equals two to the one. And if we're evaluating, two to the one is just two, right on. Because you notice how it had the word evaluate at the top, that means we actually wanna find the answer, okay? Um, example B, let's try the next one. Okay, it says minus two to the fifth divided by minus two cubed times minus two. Okay, 
I'll scroll that up. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, so, oh, one more down, down, down. Okay, dividing is first as I'm going left to right, so I'm gonna do these ones first. So because the base is the same, I'm gonna have minus two, five minus three, and then I'll bring this down, times minus two. Okay, so this is minus two squared times minus two, okay? And because this is the same thing as saying minus two to the one, okay? When we do the multiplying, we're gonna have minus two, and the exponents are two plus one. So we're gonna have minus two cubed. And if we take our calculator, I don't know if you can see that, but minus two cubed, a little better, equals negative eight, right? Negative eight. And it's a negative number because we're gonna have an odd number of negative integers we're multiplying together, that's why it's negative, okay? And eight, because two cubed is eight. Okay, now your turn. Okay, under the check, uh, let's do one A, it says four times four cubed divided by four squared. Okay, try it out. Let's see what we get. Is that what you got? I'm sure that's what you got, okay? So if we follow all the steps, first we're adding because we're multiplying exponents, then we're subtracting because we're dividing, and finally we end up with 16 when we evaluate. Okay, try one more. Okay, give it a try. And I add ones now because really negative three means exponent one, okay? Okay, so one minus one is zero. So minus three to the zero times minus three to the one. So now I'm multiplying, so I'm gonna have minus three zero plus one, which gives me minus three. Make sure I keep those brackets to the one, which is minus three. Awesome, okay, there you go. So you're getting it. Okay, so what's your turn now is do practice on page 80 and 81, okay? Right on, and then check your answers.